Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap and I've been really busy lately with um, technology falling apart and all that kind of stuff, but um, I'm determined to get a video out, so that's one thing I really make sure I try to do. And today's video is um, the making of uh, white tea tutti frutti. So basically I had a white tea and berries fragrance and I didn't have enough of it, so I combined some of the fruit fragrances that I have and it ended up really smelling great. So there's that. But I'm also going to start this little series of what happens if, because we've always heard that if you do an in the pot swirl, that you shouldn't swirl too much, otherwise the colors will muddy. But that's not always the case, especially if you have colors that really don't muddy when you mix them up. And if you look back at some of my past videos, I talk about analogous colors and complementary colors. Well, complementary colors are opposite colors. If you look at the color wheel, they're um, right across from each other. And if you do um, a mix of analogous colors, those colors are right next to each other on the color wheel and you can swirl them all you want and it's not gonna to turn to mud. You might lose some of the definition, but you can mix it and get a nice effect if you want something that's kind of uh, transitional. So um, let's go on with the soap making and uh, show you what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see what can go right today. That would be nice. Kale and Klein oil's already mixed up there, so we're soaping at about 76 degrees. It's a warm day here in San Diego. So I cooled these down, but the air temperature warmed them up a little bit more. It's also humid here, which we get once in a while. So this is going to be uh, something I want to pay attention to because they say that um, you get more ash when it's humid. So we'll just see how the soap turns out. Okay, and we're just going to get this to emulsification. It is a little warmer, so it might speed up a little bit more. The scent is really good. It's a white tea fragrance, but I added a, an assortment of different fruit scents to it, and it smells awesome. Okay, that's all I'm going to do, because I'm still going to be blending it more. Let's get the batter in the little cups first. The other experiment, if you want to call it that, that I'm going to do today is to mix the swirls a little bit more than you think is safe. Because usually we say if you blend too much, you start mixing the colors and it turns to mud. But that's really true when you have, if you've been following my channel, if you have complementary colors because if you have complementary colors, they fight and they turn muddy. But I'm gonna use all warm colors and they can mix and not turn muddy. So, all right, so I wanna get that white. So in goes my titanium dioxide. Let's get that blended. and blend that a little bit more after I get these colors blended. I'm starting with my lightest color, yellow, so I can use the same whisk. I'm gonna stop midway and check my camera. Make sure I get this whole thing on videotape. Go to the orange. I'm almost finished making my new website. I'm really happy with it, but there's some technical details that I have to work on. This is a nice bright magenta pink. This one's called Cabaret. So that's Cabaret. 
get to my purple. Actually, this is cabaret. So this one's cabaret, and that magenta one that I just showed you is firecracker. And all the colors today I'm using are from Nurture Soap. See how the white's doing? It's doing just fine. Actually, if it if it approaches a little thicker trace, I think that's what I want on this one. So I have time to use a frother. On my colors. I also have some yellow and purple mica drizzle. This is doing great. Looks like I just have a really nice vanilla color and it will turn a little bit more white once it cures. Okay I'm gonna just go for it and it doesn't really matter what order I pour these so just check my camera. So I'm gonna pour from about uh, about two feet above just make sure that the color just really sinks in there. Look at that. Followed by orange And take a still of that. That's beautiful. And then my pinkish purple. Followed by the yellow. Okay, so against my better judgment, I never really stir as much as I'm going to do here, but I just want to show you that whatever we come up with will be fine because the colors can mix when they're not going to fight each other and turn brown. Okay, so let's pour this. Let's take a look at what that looks like as it's being poured. The other thing is if you have a bunch of colors like this that are going to make a really busy looking swirl, it's best to just pour in one spot. If you go back and forth, you're kind of concentrating the busyness of that swirl. It smells just like white tea and fruit here. It's great on this hot summer day. Okay, let's get the rest of the colors on top. I don't have a lot, so I just want to spread it out so that every bar will get some. Let's make sure that this spatula top doesn't fall into the soap like my last soap. So if you want to see what happens when you don't check your spatulas, take a look back at the melange soap that I did just before this one. Okay, and I purposely made a different kind of purple for the top just so that there's a little bit more color. I just didn't want a really dark color in the soap, but I don't mind it as an accent on the top. I think it really needed that accent on the top.
success. Camera's still still on, and I think I'm actually going to even leave this as it is. But changing my mind because I did that micro drizzle. It's always good to make sure it has a way of sinking into the soap. And I love the swirls. Okay. This is also a celebration of fall, so there's like fall fruit scents in there. But I think it'll be nice with a little bit of frost, autumn frost, and in the form of some glitter. And that's it. We made it. Happy about that. And we'll bring you back for the cut. I've never really had issues of cracking before. There's a picture of it. But I kind of suspected something was up. As you saw when I was making the soap, um, it was really hot yesterday. So my soap had a hard time cooling down and, as a matter of fact, heated up. And it's a good thing that I checked on it, because as soon as I saw that it was getting a little bit of a crack, I put it in the refrigerator to cool down, and it really slowed it down. So let's do the cutting part of this video and see how much is affected by that crack. So I already beveled the top two corners. And let's give this a cut. Wow. See what any of the other colors made it into the rest of the bar bars. So remember, this was kind of an experiment to show that the colors will not really muddy if they are um, analogous colors. So analogous colors are the colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. And they tend to be okay to mix without getting muddy. And so that's the case. And I like this because there's color all the way through the bar. And it looks like white tea tutti frutti. So far there's no trace of the cracking, which is good. Remember said I want to use a different darker purple on top as an accent, so I'm glad I did that. We're getting closer to where the cracking is. Now this one, the crack didn't go very deep because you can't really see it there. It's a little bit of, it, bit of it there. In some cases, before the soap is completely hard, you can work the crack together a little bit, just so that it's not as obvious. So soap, yeah, you gotta watch it when it gets hot and humid. That's pretty. Okay, so the crack didn't go very deep. You can see a little bit of it right there. I think that's probably a bar for me. The rest are okay. Okay, and my new website is almost ready to go live. So it seems like I've had a lot of issues lately, just driving me crazy, but 
the one way to tackle that is one thing at a time and you get it taken care of. All that yellow really shows in those swirls. But uh, thanks for hanging in there with me with the camera and everything and website going down. Try to keep my cool. And tune into my Instagram. I've been posting a lot of, a, with the pandemic, I've been getting into plants a lot more lately. I went up to LA and saw family, so I baked bread on a really hot day, which was not fun. And thanks for subscribing and commenting. Really appreciate that. Looks like tie, this one looks like tie dye. And that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you for the next video. Okay, bye everybody.